So let's continue from where we left off in the last video. So in this video, let's start off by creating the add task screen. So let's head over to our main dot storyboard file. Here, let's click on the plus button. Here we can add a view controller. Select the view controller, drag and drop it here. Now we have our add uh, add task screen. Now let's create the code file for this. Click on select Cocoa Touch class. Next, I'm gonna name it add task view controller. It'll be of sub subclass UI view controller. Let's click on next. Let's click on create. And now we have our new add task view controller here. Let's copy this name here. Let's move. Let's head to our main dot storyboard. Select our add task screen. In in here, in the class section, let's we will give add task view controller as the class. The storyboard ID. We need to give a storyboard ID. I will give it as the same. Give it name it the same thing as we did our class. Okay, this is just uh, for identifying this easily. You can give it any name of, of your choice, but then you will need to mention it and you try to redirect to this screen later on. Okay, so now let's test if it works. Let's I'll dra drag and drop a label here to identify the screen. I'm going to give it some constraints. I'm going to position it horizontally in, and vertically in the container. add task screen all right let's move over to our view controller file add button in the add button we will be creating a new view controller self dot storyboard dot instantiate view controller hit identifier this and we will typecast it as force typecast it as that view controller class now, in our navigation controller, we will be pushing this new view controller which we just created and I will set animated to true. So it will show the animation, the pushing animation. Okay. Let's run this once. Now if you click on add, it opens this screen. You click on the back button, it goes back to our home screen. All right, now I'll quickly build the UI. Okay, so now let's create the view model, which is going to be the central data store for our entire application where we store all the tasks. Okay, and where we also set up the realm uh, local storage. Okay, so let's uh, select view model. I, I will name this uh, to do view model. Let's click on create. We have our class here. Let's create a class here. To do view model. It's going to be of type 
in this object. Create a shared instance, which we will be using to access all the tasks. Let's create a central array of tasks. And here let's import realm, realm swift, and let's create a function called add task, which will essentially take task as an input, and also it, there will be a completion handler. So completion handler. Now let's create a completion handler. All right. So now to save the task in realm in our realm local storage what, what we do is we start first we will need a realm instance an instance for realm so we all right so we try to create an instance of realm this might return a null but but here uh, like 99% of the times it should return it should execute without any problem so we will be force unwrapping this now we will be using this instance we start by calling calling this method which is begin right and we end by calling this method commit right Now whatever we need to store we will be putting it in between these two lines okay so let's create a new task we have our task called already so what we need to do is we just need to call realm and we need to self dot realm dot add this object which is task and that's it let's print the statement here saved now here we need to do one thing we need to call this to create this as the object type that should do away with the error and now we have our this thing so let's head over to our add task controller so when we are saving, saving the task what we do is we will create an instance of our shared instance then we just execute vm dot add task this task and the completion handler which is what is going to happen after we once we are done with this we simply pop this now pop this view controller now this task let's create a task here task equals name is going to be time 
is going to be date picker dot date and this is the task and that should be it our task is ready we pass this here in this method and once this is done the completion handler is going to be this and we just pop this screen all together now we since we have this saved what we can do is we can simply create another task another function in the view model called load tasks which will again have a completion handler all right so again we do, do the same thing we say realm begin right so our tasks equals or you can call it saved tasks equals self dot realm dot objects task dot self objects of types are task so we'll simply look for objects of type task and once we are done with this we will save it in our self dot tasks dot remove all self dot tasks dot append contents of save tasks all right now what we can do here is instead of taking data from here we will simply create a view did lower view did appear we will call this view did appear function here method here which will essentially when this method is called when the view is presented on screen okay whenever suppose whenever the view uh, is pushed to the screen or whenever we pop a screen and this view is presented this method is called okay so in this method what we can do is we can call let's create a instance for the for our vm and here what we will do is self dot data dot remove all we're going to remove all, all the data which is present here and we will do is we vm dot load tasks and in the completion handler what we will do is we are simply going to reload our table view okay so now instead of taking the data as the we will simply vm dot tasks dot count and here we will be taking data equals dot tasks data dot name now here we'll just replace it replace this with data dot time now let us check this it's building properly initially it should give us a blank list an empty list because we don't have anything or we Okay, so the issue was that essentially we need to add this over override method for the init 
function once we do this the issue is solved now let's head over to our let's run this once and there's also one more thing which you need to do that is you need to add this completion method after the at the end of this function this function so unless you put this the completion block will not be executed and you need to do this for both these functions the add function as well as the load function so i already add, added one test task here which is this one so let me add an another one i will call it test 2 time will be now i'm going to save it and as you can see it got added to this list and the best part is since we saved it to our le realm local storage if you close the app and if you open it again it is going to persist it won't be deleted okay so i think that's enough for this video in the next video we will see how we can e edit this task and also we can delete this task all right then i'll see you in the next one